old Alabama gardener. In this video, I'm going to show you how I learned to make sauerkraut. I had always wanted to make sauerkraut and have tried many, many, many times without success. So this video is going to be about me learning how to make sauerkraut from a person named Karen who already knows how to make sauerkraut. Hello, Charles. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? And what, um, what I need you to know is when you make sauerkraut, sanitizing everything is most important. All right, so I'm going to make some kraut. I got a head of red cabbage. <clears throat> I've already cut it in half. Then I cut the half and again in half. So now I got a quarter of the head of cabbage. Next, I took a good sharp knife and I removed the core. Now the next thing you always want to do is to sterilize and I'm using apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. And we're going to sterilize. Here's my bowl that I'm going to do my salt and cabbage mixing in. And you see it's got apple cider vinegar in it down there in the bottom. So that's sterilizing the bowl. It's been setting more than 15 minutes. Here's my quart jar that I'm going to put the kraut in. It's got apple cider vinegar in it, and it's been setting more than 15 minutes. You can shake it like that once in a while. So we're sterilizing the jar with apple cider vinegar. I sterilized my knife, both knives that I'm using. And so now I'm beginning to cut the cabbage into small pieces. Now, I need to get this out of my way, so I'm going to dump the vinegar that's in here out. And I'll begin to put this cabbage into here to get this just to get it out of my way so I can continue with my cutting. Also, I sterilized my cutting board with apple cider vinegar. All right, so now let's continue with our cutting. You want to slice these as thin as you can and as uniform as you can. That way your kraut will be, the salt will penetrate all the cabbage kind of somewhat equally and turn it into the kraut. So we'll just continue with our slicing here. All right, so now I've got all my cabbage cut. Move this out of my way. Get this up and into my bowl and I'll bring it over here. Now here's our bowl of shredded cabbage. Next we need three tablespoons of salt. But we're not going to put it all in at once. First thing I'm going to do is sterilize my measuring spoon with a little bit of apple cider vinegar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure, I poured some apple cider vinegar on that plate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out three tablespoons of salt. And 
And now we'll start with about half of this, which will be about a tablespoon and a half, as you know. Now this is canned salt. Don't, don't use table salt. That's got iodine in it. This is canning salt. So now, because I was touching some other things, I'm going to wash my hands again with apple cider vinegar. Now, on the mixing of this, it's recommended that you do it just like you was doing bread dough. Pull from the outside in. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to make this cabbage start releasing its juice or its liquid. And the way we do it is to get the salt mixed into it really well. And one of the first things you see, I'm going to get it up a little closer to you, is the salt, the, is the cabbage starts to glisten. And what that means is that it's releasing this liquid. The salt pulls the liquid out of the cabbage. Plus the salt also helps to, to uh, avoid or reduce the, the, in, the uh, picking up of bad bacteria. Now it said that you can taste the cabbage at about this point. They call it tasting it for salt. Let's see what it tastes like. It tastes a little bit salty. And we are starting to accumulate a little bit of liquid down there. See it? Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a plate on top of this with a weight to push down on the cabbage. But now I want to sterilize it before I put it in there. So, I'll get my apple cider vinegar again. And I'll pour a little bit on my plate. I think I'll use my jar of garlic and honey. So now we're going to let that set for 30 minutes. And I'm going to get a little bit of apple cider vinegar to, to uh, sanitize my hands. Now we remove the plate. And now let's see what we got in the way of liquid. That's called brine. So I'm going to put in a little bit more of this salt. And we'll massage it again. Mixing that salt in there good. And I must say this is the first time I've ever made kraut where I had that much where I had that much brine. I'm so happy with what's going on here. Alright, so now we're ready to put it in the jar. So I'm going to move this over here a little bit. 
And here's our quart jar. Still got some apple cider vinegar in it. We're going to shake it around really good. Now we'll pour the vinegar out. And now we're ready to pack the, the uh, kraut into this jar. Now I've got the jar about half full. So now I want to pack it down a little bit. I'm just going to use this wooden uh, piece, of, piece of wood here. And I'm going to sanitize it. You just want to pack it down there where it's pretty tight. Alright, now let's put some more <clears throat> more of the cabbage in. Now we're going to pack it some more. And now, we're going to pour this brine that's in the jar, um, it's in the bowl, into the jar. That is a good, that is good. Now then, we're going to put some of these large cabbage leaves that I took off when we were, when I first started. Well, I'm going to sanitize them with some apple cider vinegar. We'll do that in our bowl here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fold it a little bit like this. And then I'm going to put it in the jar. And I'm going to put the curved side down because I want to kind of make it like if it was a cup in, cup, cupping in other words to catch that all of that cabbage that's in there. And I'm going to use another one. See it goes like this. So we'll put it this way. And maybe we'll run this one this down this side this way. Now you can see how much liquid we got in there. That's brine. That's good. Put a lid on it. I'm going to use one of these, although I've been told they're not the best. I don't have an airlock, so this is all I've got. So what I need to do is sanitize this with some apple cider vinegar. We'll put this on top. We'll put a ring on it. All right, I believe my kraut is ready to put it up in a different container and into the refrigerator. So you can see by the label here that it was started on the 7th of October. And today is the 21st day of October. So first of all, we'll get it loose up here. Get this off. And now we got a weight right here that we got to get out. 
little glass weight. And now we have some cabbage leaves that was on top that needs to come out. The cabbage leaves help keep your kraut under the brine. That's important. So there's the cabbage right there. Now you can see it kind of bubbling. So it is still fermenting. I'm going to put it in a little plastic container here. Now, while we're doing this, let's give this a taste test. So here's what's left of the kraut. I, I put it in another jar. So here's what's left of it in, in the jar that I made it in. A little bit down here in the bottom. So I'm going to give it a taste test. All right, so here we are. Here's the kraut. Give it a taste test. <laughs> That's good. I don't know whether you can hear the crunch or not. It is really crunchy like it's supposed to be. That's good. You know what I'm going to say now, don't you? I wish I could share this with you so you could have a bite of homemade kraut. It's good, it's good for you. And with the teaching that Karen had given me, I'm able to do it. So I really, really appreciate that. So here's to Karen. Thank you so very, very much for teaching me how to make good homemade sauerkraut.